Hi, this is Mary Ellen with Paper Snowflake Art, and today we are going to do a paper snowflake that is based off my golden retriever tortellini. So to start, you'll take your piece of paper, fold it in half, short end to short end, and I like to fold it in half again just to make a little notch to mark the center. Then you'll angle your sides up to make your pizza fold and fold in half again. If you need help with the folding, I've got another video that's just on folding. Cut the excess off the top and then I'm going to just draw on my sketch of tortellini. Little dog head, fluffy dog ear. Make sure you connect from one side to the other, then add your eye, your nose, and your happy mouth. I always start with hole punches uh, because it's a little easier when you've got more paper to hold on to. And then I do the fine details of the cuts. So the scissors I'm using here have something called a micro tip. That means they angle toward each other and they make a really fine point. So you can do these tiny little cuts of the eyes and um, it's a little bit easier to cut. Whenever you're cutting a paper snowflake, you're cutting through 12 layers of paper at the same time. So you want to hold on to the paper pretty tightly so that it doesn't start to slide around when you're doing some of these more detailed sections. And you can see as I'm cutting, my scissors pretty much stay in the same direction and then I move the paper around to do the curves. This is because if you start cutting and you twist your hand with the scissors in your hand, you'll start to spread the paper apart. So just keep your scissors kind of in the same position, move your paper around as you cut them out. When you cut the tongue of the golden retriever snowflake, you just want to add a little line right along the fold. That will make the line in the center of the tongue. And then I add in a little thin, thin line below just to mark the bottom of the chin. And you can cut some excess paper off the top and then add in the little shag on the ears just to make it look a little bit fluffier. That's how you know it's a golden retriever instead of like a lab's ears. So if you have your own dog at home and you're going to try to make your own dog, just take a look at what their ears look like and then copy them. I also have a border collie, so his ears point up. His name is Pepper. I've got a Pepper Snowflake too. Add a little heart at the bottom because we love her so much. See how we did. There's a half a tortellini. There's another half a tortellini. One fold and see the full thing. When I unfold my snowflakes, I try to um, really press them flat as I unfold so that they kind of stay stiff and they don't tangle up as much or get caught or cut. There she is! I showed Tortellini the snowflake and she tried to take a big bite out of it so I think that means that she likes it. Let me know if you like it and if you've tried your own dog snowflake in the comments. And I hope you enjoy and happy snipping.